Hi, my name is Jason from Sow the Land, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this rain barrel and how we are saving rainwater on our DIY hoop house slash greenhouse. For the base of this rain barrel, I'm using scrap wood. I'm just using two by fours and some scrap fencing some screws and glue, making it just a really simple platform. I'm making it this high, so that way I can fill up a five gallon bucket when I place it underneath the spigot. For the mesh, I'm using an aluminum screen mesh. A typical window screen mesh that you would get at the local hardware store. So I'm not crazy about this mesh. Kind of this excess mesh going on. You can leave that on, uh, but for me, I think I wanna just cut the excess off. And now I need to install a spigot, something to where I could fill up some buckets, such as this. Uh, and I will leave a link down in the show notes where I bought this. I would suggest using a hole saw bit because it just makes the hole a lot cleaner and the cleaner the hole, uh, there'll be less likely of any kind of leaks. I'm also using some Teflon tape. You wanna go up about three to 12 inches. I'm gonna go up right above these ribs right here. Clean that up with sandpaper. Wrap this in Teflon tape. Then we're gonna drop that in. All right, that was pretty easy. You just pop it in and tighten it up, you're done. All right, the trickiest part of this entire setup, because for one, it is on a hoop house, so it's curved. This is a typical gutter uh, for a house, and these gutters, you know, it has a flat side, and then this side's angled. If I put it up against the hoop house with the flat side, uh, it's, it's slanted and I don't think that's gonna work. What I'm gonna do is flip it over and put the angled side against the curved part of the hoop house. Another problem that I have when doing this setup is that when the water runs down, it just goes underneath the gutter. So, because there's an opening in there, so it, it, the water doesn't really go inside. And so what I decided to do was, I cut this plastic, it's some uh, extra plastic from the bottom of the greenhouse. And then I'm also using uh, some clear UV resistant Gorilla Tape. All right, it's supposed to rain all this week, but it's not raining right now, but I wanna try it. I wanna see if it works. <laughs> it works. Look at, we got, it's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing in there. <laughs> oh man, all right. We're, uh, we're saving water. <laughs> this is something that I've been thinking about since building this 
greenhouse slash hoop house is uh, try to figure out a way to harvest the water to save the water and to use it maybe for our greenhouse and now I might add an overflow hole I don't know I'm gonna see how it goes you know if it gets too much water you know the water's just gonna come out from the top and overflow but maybe if I add a hole up on the top here uh, it'll prevent that but I don't know I don't think it really is a big deal um, not for this setup uh, being that it's you know, it's a small tank. It's not giant now one thing that you could do is Continue this gutter all the way Across the hoop house and the only reason why I didn't do that was because it would be more money or You can do the same thing on the other end This barrel that we have uh, I got it from a local restaurant. They were getting rid of barrels uh, And we picked up two of them and it's a food grade barrel I'm sure you guys can pick one up for free somewhere, um, but they do sell these. We hope to use this setup for our greenhouse, uh, so we won't have to rely on the hose so much. And we could also use it to fill up our chicken's water. I'm so excited we got water! <laughs> Look at that. That's some good flow there too. Yeah, that's great. It's gonna be so good. And one of my goals here on our Soul to Land channel is to inspire people, to help people. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys next time. My name is Jason from Sow the Land. <laughs> I made this.